Hi friends, today we are reading Look Again, The Secrets of Animal Camouflage by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. Staying alive can be a challenge for an animal in the wild. Many creatures face the constant threat of being eaten by bigger and stronger animals. And even the fiercest hunters may, must find prey or they will starve. Staying hidden, whether from predators or prey, is one way to stay alive. And many animals do this surprisingly well. Colorful coral reefs and dense forests of kelp a kind of seaweed are found in shallow ocean waters in many parts of the world. These habitats provide food and shelter to more different kinds of animals than almost any place on earth. And we can see some of these animals are camouflaged. Did you notice the octopus in the coral reef? Do you notice other animals in the illustrations that you see? I see some fish, maybe a shrimp, maybe even a sea dragon. Many coral reefs and kelp forest animals are masters of disguise, blending in with the colors and textures of their surroundings. Some do this to avoid being eaten. Others do it to fool their prey. And we see those animals again we saw on the previous page. This is the crocodile fish. It lurks on the seafloor until a shrimp or small fish comes near, then it swallows its prey in a single gulp. They're about as big. They're a little bit longer than your hand. You can see that symbol there. This is a whip coral shrimp. It looks just like a piece of soft coral that it lives on. Right? This is the trumpet fish. Right? We see all those things revealed that were on the last page. See where they were hiding? There's our trumpet fish. You can look for the animals going forward. Roots, leaves, and branches. Each part of a tree is a different habitat. Tree bark and the moss and algae that grow on it provides a home or resting place for a variety of animals. Do you see the animals camouflaged on this page? Hmm. Let's see if you spotted them. Even living high above the ground can be risky. Snakes, birds, and other predators are a constant threat. The best defense look like part of the tree. This is the gray tree frog. Clinging to the nooks and crannies of a tree's rough bark, the gray tree frog stays camouflaged as it searches for ants and other insects to eat. Let's do another one. Hmm. This is a moss mimic stick insect, so it looks like moss. To most predators, it looks like an unappetizing bit of vegetation. And then this is a tulip tree beauty moth. It almost disappears on a lichen-covered tree trunk. When you see that green stuff growing on a tree trunk, that is lichen. Let's see what comes next. Flowers produce nectar and pollen foods that attract insects, birds, and bats. For some creatures, these blossoms are also a colorful place to hide. Hmm, see if you can spot the animals on this page. What do you see? All right, let's see what, if you found the animals. All right, looks like, there we go. All right, some animals sip flower nectar. Others prey on creatures that are attracted to blossoming plants, and a few fool their enemies by concealing themselves among the petals. So here we have the high-casked chameleon. It can alter its color to match its environment. This lizard also changes color to send messages to other chameleons. Did you guys see the lorikeet? This is the rainbow lorikeet. The colorful feathers of the rainbow lorikeet blend in with the flowers of its forest home. And this is the eyelash viper. The bright yellow scales of the eyelash viper conceal this snake as it coils among colorful fruit and flowers and waits for its prey. 
The leaves and plant debris that cover the forest floor offer the animals that live there lots of ways to conceal themselves. You see the animals on this page? See if you can spot all of them. All right, let's see if you were right. Many of these creatures are a dull color to blend in with the dirt and leaf filter of the forest floor. A few go a step further, imitating dead leaves with impressive accuracy. All right, so we saw this one. This is a Malayan tapir. The coat of a young Malayan tapir matches the patterns of light and shadow on the forest floor. This is a bat-faced toad. As it watches for ants and other small insects to eat, the bat-faced toad stays hidden in plain sight. This is a gaboon viper. It lies quietly among fallen leaves. When a bird or other small animal wanders by, it strikes with its long, venomous fangs. Now we have some arctic animals. The harsh landscape of the Arctic is covered by snow and ice for much of the year. It's a challenging place for an animal that needs to stay out of sight. Can you spot the Arctic animals on this page? Let's see. I'll give you another second to look. See if you're right. For these creatures, staying hidden means being mostly white, at least when the ground is covered with snow. This is the willow grouse. It nests in the trees where its patterned feathers help it stay hidden. This is the arctic fox. A warm, thick fur, the warm, thick fur of the arctic fox also changes color, turning from brown in the summer to white as the snow in the winter. This is, we know this guy, that is a polar bear. The polar bear's white coat allows it to sneak up on the, seal, on the seals it hunts. Some people have reported that the polar bear covers its black nose with a paw when it hunts, but most scientists believe that this is a myth. Ooh. Leaves and vines can provide food, shelter, and for some creatures, a handy hiding place. Take a minute to look at these creatures, see if you can spot any. Hmm, let's see if you were right. Looking like part of a plant can be a good survival strategy for both predators and prey. Some of these creatures have almost perfect disguises. This is a common brimstone butterfly. It mimics the leaves of the plants it feeds on. If it's disturbed, it holds very still and tucks its legs, making it look even more like a leaf. Let's see what else. This is a green vine snake. It's not hard to see how the green vine snake got its name. The snake lives in the trees where it hunts birds and other small animals. This is a giant leaf insect. They look like the part of a plant. The brown part, the brown patches on its body, which resemble, resemble a decaying leaf, add to the realism. So it even has parts of a leaf that look like they are decaying or dying where it's turning brown to match the leaf. This is a green huntsman spider. It lurks in the foliage as it waits for an unwary insect to wander by. Survival can be a challenge in a rocky environment where there is little vegetation to hide in. So they don't have trees and plants to hide in, just the rocks. Can you spot the animals here? Hmm. Let's see if you were right. Ah. This is a marine iguana. It looks like part of the rock it rests on. These creatures have adapted to life in the open by imitating the color and texture of their harsh habitat. This is, these are the eggs of a rye bill. So you can see the outline of the adult there. These are just the eggs. So they hide those in rock covered riverbanks. 
This is a pallid ghost crab. It sleeps in a burrow, but spends much of its day in the open searching for food on the seashore, and it kind of looks like the pebbles or the sand. And on this page, we can learn a little bit more about all those animals we saw in the book. All right, so if you want more information about those animals, you can check out this book and read this awesome section at the back, the end. I hope you enjoyed reading Look Again by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page.